What's going on everyone? Castle Crag here back with fights in tight spaces. Finally, we're at the final act. These are long ass runs. Um and I you know, it feels like I'm going much quicker through fights, but sometimes it just isn't. Oh well. Anyways, Agent 11. It seems that congratulations are in order. I wonder if this guy's going to be the final boss. <laughs> uh, sir? Well, you successfully un oh, united all the world's major criminal gangs into one deadly organization. Cool. And I guess it's up to me to sort that out, too. It's really only polite. Fast learner. All purchased cards are automatically upgraded. Too many enhancements, select one to remove. I'll take that. I'm not going to purchase a lot of cards anyway. At least I'm at full health, because... Oh boy, we were... We were hurting at the end there. Um, I would like to hit up... Oh, small area. Okay, I'd like to hit up that gym if possible. Two events in a row. Okay. I mean, we're trying the events. I don't need cards or more fights. This one should hopefully run a lot quicker than the other ones because of... Yeah. Okay, one. One of every... And it's a protect fight. It's eight enemies? Holy sh... What? What? Oh my gosh. Block. Immediately block. This guy has counter. This guy has 36 health. Um, block again. 14. So right now I'm taking two attacks. And a. S Can we drag the map? There we go. 25. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to have to move into that attack. I legitimately don't have another choice. Hammer fist, and then shift. Now, he auto-attacked me last time, and it does not say auto-attack on his... Okay. Um. Ow. Spinning kick. Yes, spinning jump kick. Unfortunately. This guy counters. And I legitimately can't. He should still be attacking when I move away from him. I don't think he will be, though. A spinning jump kick here is massive, but... Even more massive. Is actually going to be... Quick. Now he's going to get attacked by both of them for heavy damage. And three enemies will kill other enemies. That... that 26 and 14 is not quite enough. Is it? 26 and 14, that's just, no, that's 40. That's not quite enough. Um, I regret not being able to play Rising Strength, though. I did get one enemy. Wait, why is this guy facing this way right now? What? What? I can wall jump punch this guy, actually, and just get rid of him. Might be worth. If only I had redirect. Oh, he's going to attack the ambassador right now. Oh my god, and basically kill him. 
And he keeps increasing. I need to get rid of this guy immediately. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can push this guy to here. And he'll damage this guy. Hmm. But that's all I can do. Like, I can do nothing about the fact that he's gonna... I mean... Oh, he's gonna... Yeah, okay. Now, he'll damage this guy here. For 23 damage. Um... That's the only thing I can do there. I mean, I... I suppose I can... Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. The ambassador's gonna die. Why does he keep turning to face this way? Like, I... I don't want to complain about it. Um... So I... Move here. Turn to face the player. I could have stopped him in the last turn, but. Oh. I can get him killed by this guy. No. No, only thing I can do here. Front kick, an emergency move out of the way. It's a bit unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Legitimately nothing I can do here. Right? I can block. Dodge forward. Why does he randomly do that? There is no text that says... Yeah, there's no text that says he does that. Yeah, I'm going to be dead here real quick. Uh, yep, real, real quick. In fact, probably here. Mm -hmm. Do I have a push right here? I don't. Hold on. I can kill this guy right now. Oh, but I'll be auto-attacked, huh? Pocket sand. Punch it combo. Three punch combo. Redirect, because why not? Mm hmm. Well, I can be fine this turn. Play that, play that. Shift to there. 
It's looking like this is going to be a very, very quick video. If I don't have slip here, I think I'm dead. Uh-huh. Because as we've learned, as soon as I move here, he's going to attack for some odd reason. I, I legitimately don't see... Oh, wait, hold on. 36, so this is... He's at 34. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Play this. Tactical retreat. There, because he'll turn to face me if I move in front of him. Or... Well, Ambassador's gone. You gonna move over here? Right, you are. Punch kick combo does not quite kill you. And I get killed by this guy if I do that. Um, I can... I can flash kick. Move out of the way. Shift, punch kick combo. If I don't have slipper shift here, I think I'm dead. Well, oh, push will work. He's not an auto attack. Yeah. 22 damage. Actually, I have just enough to just kill this guy outright. Could also no 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 I don't want to do that. Hold the phone. I don't want to move to here because this guy will get me. Hmm. Oh, it's wall jump punch. Alright, theoretically, I should be able to kill both of them here. Assuming this guy doesn't turn and attack me. Boom. Good combo. Yeah, and I can't do the two enemies killing other enemies. Because there's only two left, and only one of them can kill the other. So this guy auto attacks. 32 damage is not enough to kill him. But. I'm slipping around him. Jumping back kick. Still not quite enough to kill him. He's not going to turn to face me. I think I can make it through this level. Watch as I just immediately get killed here. They'll both attack here right now. Quick block. Counter for 23. I mean, that's not going to do enough damage. I can head smash to get rid of his auto attack. I should counter. Yeah. And then I have enough energy to push this guy out the door. Survive that on two health. But I don't think it's likely I make it all the way through. Roll throw seems pretty good. Unless I get heals here, red wire. Uh-uh. I... Sure. Got lucky. Your usual trainer. It's 
upgrade a move. Okay, if I'm a free upgrade, so what do I upgrade? Wall jump punch to 40 damage? Seems pretty dang good. Dodge to... Okay, makes dodge quite a bit better. Thinking wall jump punch. Yeah, let's do that one. Protect. It's the same same place no matter which one I go to, so. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, please give me a front kick. <clears throat> front kick, front kick. That ain't it. Yeah, I'm dead here. There's no way in hell I make it out of this. Just look at the amount of damage they're doing. It's gross kind of damage. Up to three tiles away. One, two, three. So I can actually get him to damage. No, he can't take damage from other enemies. I can only either push him out or kill him myself. Yeesh. I don't want to use dodge because then he'll attack me. Do I have any kind of a push? That's a no. My only... Yeah, he'll turn to face the player. Seemingly my only option. This guy's going to have 32 block at the start of the next turn. If I'm reading that correctly. I got that in the first hand, which has helped. Uh... Yep, yep, that's that. Okay, yeah, there's no way I'm doing this without pushing them all out. Undermine. Thirteen times three is thirty-nine. Times two is seventy-eight. Not enough to kill him. I mean, there's not enough to kill anyone. Even this guy. It's too, too few to kill him. Nah, I couldn't even do it. Best I can do is double movement. the only thing I can do to even stay alive at this point. Well, he just died in one hit. Ten. hundred ten, huh? Hmm... 24 three times, 72 damage. Twenty-eight and seventy-two is Oh. I don't wanna No, that's a hundred exactly. I'm dumb. And then I can kill him with the right spin no, I won't be able to kill him even with the right spin kick. Move him out of my way with the right spin kick. Get out of my way. Shift here. Pretty sure I'm dead here. 
9 damage for every incoming attack. So if I can kill this guy and move 2. Kill you. Twenty-two, thirty-three, thirty-three. You're doing the least amount of damage. Because this guy's going to turn to face me. chance is th yeah we're just dead There's nothing I can do 22 health and he does exactly 22 damage these guys didn't turn maybe fine but ah Hey, but I've been awarded all the other starter decks. So next time we'll try uh, Counter Striker. Because we went fairly aggressive this time anyway. We'll try defensive next time. Oh well, well, short video here. Um, <clears throat> whew. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying yourself watching this game. I've certainly been having fun playing it. It's very good. Especially since it just came out in early access. And they have a long roadmap ahead of them. They've done a very good job creating a quite enticing game. I'm not sure about its long-term um, kind of engagement. Uh, if the, the storyline is going to be the same every time. And I don't know. It, it seems to me it certainly could have a good long-term engagement um being as you know there's a bunch of different acts and the enemies are randomized supposedly or at the very least they will be eventually uh, i think that was on the roadmap let's see i can pull it up i don't think i can pull it up on screen but um Give me a second here. And if I can pull up Steam here, go for Let's see something. <laughs> no okay well we'll just do this here real quick so um y'all can see the uh right now again it just released so they're at the beginning of their update roadmap um their plans are improve spawn fairness and mission rewards in the future eventually a deck draft system. I'm not sure what they mean by that. If they mean like instead of these starter decks, you draft cards at the beginning. Uh, you know, kind of a randomly draft cards like the the modifier. <laughs> the comparison we always, at least everyone I've known to play card games on, you know, YouTube, always goes back to, is um, Slay the Spire, and so there's a mod, not mod, but it's um. The ch you can do custom runs. There you go. And one of the modifiers in that run you can do is uh, a drafted deck where you draft what, 15 cards? 10 cards? I don't know. Uh, and I think you draft from 30. 
you choose 10 cards out of 30, and that's what it is. And then play, kind of like it gives you the uh, the library event, except you get to choose multiple cards. Um, and then there's also the uh, one where you uh, sealed deck maybe is what it's called. And there's the one where you can actually draft cards, where it gives you a selection of three, and then another selection of three, and another, and another, all the way until you have enough cards, however many it is. I believe those are both two separate kinds of drafting systems in Slay the Spire. So I wonder if that's kind of the plan for something for their deck draft system. Um, adding more enemies will be nice. There are actually a f decent amount of enemies already. So I'm not sure how many more they need to really add. Uh, more, you know, the more the merrier. But also sometimes they just get a bit too challenging. Spawn fairness will be nice. Enhancement system. Um, daily play mode. Extra cards and abilities. And replay bug fixes. Game balance. That last area was much more difficult than everything else before it. At least for my build. Um, and the second to last area was pretty hard as well. So some of the enemies could probably use some balancing. But still pretty good for, again very newly released game. I don't know how long they plan on taking to do each update, but if it's fairly short and the game releases by, let's say, August, um, that would make some sense to me, considering how much they already have in there. It really feels like a fairly complete game to me, with, you know, the kind of gen general balance, continual updates that any game needs. You know, change, tweak, enemy health, enemy shielding, damage, those kinds of things. Just to uh, level out the difficulty curve a little bit. Because um, it spiked up at the end there pretty heavily. Other than that, fantastic job. Very fun game. And something that I plan on continuing. Uh, probably start recording the next episode here right now and we'll be taking on the counter-strike deck um anyways i just thought i'd give my thoughts on the game as it is right now and let you all go with an early video yeah i know you get off easy um stay tuned for more thanks for watching Bye bye <laughs>